Inside Moorhead State Basketball is brought to you by Fazoli's of Moorhead. Fast, fresh, Italian. U.S. Bank, all of us serving you. St. Clair Regional Healthcare, amazing medicine close to home. Larry Fannin, Chevrolet, Buick, and GMC, doing business with a handshake and a promise. Kentucky Bank, call it home. Eagle Finance, loans made easy, payments made affordable. Big Four Lumber Ace Hardware, the helpful place. The Citizens Bank, the home of totally free checking. Reno's Roadhouse, go wild, go west, go Reno's. Moorhead Tourism Commission, escape the normal. Eagle Trace Golf Course, the home course of the MSU Eagles. First National Bank, a tradition of value and convenience. Holbrook's Embroidery, your clearly Kentucky headquarters. Better Life Church, helping people follow Jesus. Commercial Bank of West Liberty, a source of strength in our community. Tim Short Auto Group, take the short drive to satisfaction. Jack Rowe Insurance, serving all your insurance needs. Pasquale's and Bakery on Main, treat yourself well. Richard White Wood Products, a premier exporter of Kentucky hardwoods worldwide. Standard for Builders Paving in West Liberty. Quality work at affordable prices. That's how we roll. And by New Frontier Outfitters, we are made for your journey. Hi, everyone, and welcome in to this edition of Inside Moorhead State Basketball from the campus of Moorhead State University and the Academic Athletic Center. As always, alongside my buddy, MSU head basketball coach Preston Spradlin. I'm David Patrick, and Preston, here we are. Final week of the regular season, UT Martin on Thursday night, and then coming up on Saturday, the big rivalry with the EKU Colonels. Last two games, the, the support has been fantastic all year, and I know you'd love to see this place packed on Thursdays and Saturdays. We, we really would, and uh, you know, we've talked about it here on the show, and uh, just that it popped in my mind. I'd actually sent one of our assistants on the road recruiting, and he went to another college basketball game of a team that's in a bigger city, and uh, we got some friends that are on staff there, and he said, Coach, their crowd does not compare to ours. <laughs> and uh, obviously at this point in, in uh, the stature of their program, they've got a better record for this year, but to to say that about our team, that our fans come out and they really support us despite the season that we've been through, is uh, there's really a lot to be said for that. And we really want to finish it strong. We've got Tennessee Martin here is our lone road win on the year um, at their place, uh, a very close, tight game. And so they're they're playing uh, good basketball right now. And so uh, they'll come in extremely competitive. And that's a game we're going to need our fans, especially on a Thursday night with our students. We'd appreciate them coming out and showing our student athletes the support. And then on Saturday, uh, obviously against the Colonels, uh, you know, the storied rivalry as we, as we talked about on the show uh, here in the OVC, and that'll be a fun game. I think we play the early one uh, before the women in that, in that matchup, and it'll be a gold rush. There's going to be a lot of promotions, a lot of gold t-shirts being handed out. It should be a lot of fun to, uh, to wind down the last week of the season. Nothing better. I mean, I've been around this program for... 30 plus years now, nothing better than MSU, EKU. Yeah, that's a lot of fun, obviously, uh, going down there to their place. We had a tough game. We dug ourselves a bit of a hole and fell a little bit short. Um, but, you know, learning from it, keep moving, keep fighting, and, uh, and, and then ready for a second opportunity to play them here on our home turf. Stay with us. Coming up later in the show, the Eagle Profile segment, and also a special treat as we'll talk to one of the most recognizable names and faces in all of Moorhead, and that is Citizens Bank President and CEO, Mr. Bob Neff. That's next on Inside Moorhead State Basketball. Eagle Trace Golf Course is one of Kentucky's finest, nestled in the beautiful Daniel Boone National Forest in Moorhead. The unique and challenging course offers year-round play and is open to the public. We have a large practice range, a clubhouse with a fully merchandised pro shop, and a covered pavilion perfect for great outings. We're proud to be the home course of the Moorhead State University men's and women's golf teams. I'm Bill Redwine, and I invite you to join us at Eagle Trace Golf Course or visit us online at moorheadstate.edu slash eagletrace. First National Bank welcomes you to visit our newest location at 200 Viking Drive, where you'll find the best customer service. 
Banker's hours? What's that? Our full service bank is open 8 a.m. to 5 p.m. every day, 9 to noon on Saturdays, and bank till 6 on Fridays. We're proud to be a part of this community and support Coach Preston Spradlin and the Moorhead State Eagles. Hi, I'm Kevin Anderson, Vice President and Branch Manager, asking you to come be part of a growing family at First National Bank. Larry Fannins and Moorhead is celebrating 69 years and we do business the old-fashioned way with a handshake and a promise. Larry has more than 350 vehicles in stock from budget busters and certified pre-owned to the newest offerings from GM. All of our new models include a lifetime powertrain warranty and our certified vehicles come with a 100,000 mile powertrain warranty. I'd love for everyone to stop by and see us at Larry Fannin Chevrolet Buick GMC in Moorhead. Holbrook's Embroidery Plus has been family owned and operated for nearly two decades. And we're proud to serve our friends and neighbors in Rowan and surrounding counties. We do embroidery, screen printing, vinyl, sublimation, Greek and corporate apparel, sports jerseys and so much more. We offer fast turnaround with top quality and customer service. We're conveniently located in downtown Moorhead. We're a community leader and proud supporter of local athletics. So come visit us and see what everyone's talking about at Holbrook's Embroidery Plus. This segment of Inside Moorhead State Basketball is sponsored by Fazoli's. Fast, fresh, Italian. Walker. In the hands of Hicks with five to shoot. Pulling the trigger is Walker. DSU an 0 of 5 start from the field. Only two points came from free throws. Sweet ball movement. Spencer, tough shot, and he scores it anyway. Shot clock down to five. Fade away from Henson. Spencer off the screen. Reddick driving. Scores with contact. Spencer off the screen. And the foul. Near steal for Spencer. Henson answers with a three. Cans it from the corner. Moorhead State program, five 21 campaigns in the last eight years. Really fighting for pride tonight and fighting hard. King again for three. He makes it look so easy. Here, turnover, they did turn it over. Akawulu couldn't handle. Hicks and the foul. Feeds to the block to Green. Nearly had it swiped away by Spencer. Hicks got it right back. Oh, rejected by Mekawulu. Baker had it swatted away. Janey to Spencer. That's TSU basketball at its finest. Spencer drying his hands at the top of your screen. Hamilton swings to Spencer. Still on fire. Hicks penetrates and kicks to Henson. He's starting to feel it. Henson continues to light it up. Cheney weaving his way through traffic. Mekawulu finds Spencer. Flamethrower. Delano Spencer. Moorhead State's second half, exclusively three-pointers. All but one field goal from downtown. Oh, my goodness. They are shooting on a sinkhole. A.J. Hicks for three. Chafee Jr. Reddick. Dagger! And he taps it away. And now Cheney can help ice this game, but he's going to take it right to the rack. Cheney! No matter where you are in life, we're all looking for something better. 
we dream of something more. That's why we created Better Life Church. For the searching, for the wondering, Jesus has a better life for you. Big Four Lumber Ace Hardware is celebrating our 40th anniversary as a locally owned and operated family business in Moorhead. We would like to thank our valued customers for your loyalty and trust. We pledge to continue supplying the best quality service by our hometown employees. Big Four Lumber is a staple of the Moorhead Round County community. We take pride in giving back and invite you to join us for our many customer appreciation events throughout the year. That's Big Four Lumber Ace Hardware, 1470 Flemingsburg Road in Moorhead. Dr. Mary Phillips is one of the most compassionate, kindest doctors that I know. Dr. Phillips is a very caring person. She's one of the surgeons that you want to call on. St. Clair provides the much needed medical help, not only for Round County, but for the adjoining counties around us. St. Clair is one of the best things that have ever happened to our region. At the Citizens Bank, we have totally free checking with a free gift. When you combine totally free checking with the best people and the best service, do you know what you get? The best bank. Being the best bank makes it easy for our customers to refer their friends and family to come and bank with the best too. Every referral gets another free gift. So come bank with the best. The Citizens Bank, home of totally free checking and a free gift. Member FDIC. Hi, everyone, and welcome back into this week's edition of Inside Moorhead State Basketball. In keeping with our theme for the season, we are keeping our show completely local to showcase the uh, commitment that our community has to Moorhead State and our athletics department. So we're here at Citizens Bank with President Bob Neff. And, Bob, talk a little bit about your business here. Uh, talk about the community, your involvement, and just what you guys provide here at Citizens Bank. Well, thank you. First of all, I'd like to thank you for what you, the team, Moorhead State University has done for this community in keeping everything as much as you can local. You've done a fine job, not only in that aspect, but also in coaching. I, I, I appreciate you and everybody at Moorhead State. The bank is the only local bank in Moorhead, and, and one of the great things that we have is local people, and we have people who want to be involved in the community and, and help their fellow citizens to become uh, better better quality of life in our area and they work very hard at it they do a great job and I invite anybody to come in and see how our service is and the treatment they get from our bank you know that that sounds very consistent with when I'm on the road recruiting you know obviously student athletes have choices they can go to a lot of different universities and I tell them all the time everybody's got a nice gym everybody's got uh, the facilities the gear all those things but we can provide at Moorhead State a service to you and and your son and your family that we're going to surpass and we're going to outwork every single person who's also recruiting you it sounds like that's pretty consistent with what you guys try to do here that is correct, and from what you just said, we're on the same team. We do things the same way. Uh, we work very hard at it. Uh, we see what's out there in the community. Uh, we see what the needs are. We check, and we make sure that we are meeting the needs of the community in our area. You know, we also talk about our program being a family, and uh, we, we talk about it all the time, every huddle. We're very involved with our, our, our players, our, our former players, and their families as well. And talk a little bit about some of the people here that work for you, because you've got some terrific employees, and I know you're very close with their families, you're involved in their personal lives, and kind of talk about just what that means to you being the president of the bank here. Well, we have some excellent people, starting with uh, Mr. Paul Goodpaster, who is the uh, uh, chief officer, operating officer of the bank. He does a tremendous job. He works well with the people, and he has other great people that work with him. Uh, Ryan is a senior loan officer, and Vicki Blakeman, who's our customer service rep. You won't find a better one in the nation. And, and people out there in the community know Vicki, and they know what type of treatment they get when they come here. She's uh, beyond excellent. She's at the 
next level if, if people can get there, which is great. And we have uh, good branches. We have several branches uh, throughout the area. We have two in Bath County, one in Morgan County, and two here in Round County. So uh, we make sure we're convenient for everybody, and we have the people staffed in those uh, branches to do uh, a wonderful job to help meet the needs of the community. And you've also got a lot of proud Eagle alums that work here for you, and a lot of people that have a lot uh, are stakeholders in our university here currently. That is correct. Uh, I graduated from Moorhead. It's been many a moon ago, but but I graduated from there. Paul has graduated from there. Uh, Ryan uh, did Miss Vicky, as I call her, uh, not only graduated from Moorhead, but she was homecoming queen. Uh, I won't say how long ago that was, <laughs> but but she was homecoming queen, and and a lot of our people have have gone to Moorhead. We even. Uh, employ uh, some part-time uh, people from Moorhead that are going to school there to, to help them further their education and uh, uh, get their degree and go on and uh, for bigger and better things. Well, that's what it's all about. And I know you didn't want to mention how long ago that was that you uh, graduated from Moorhead, but something we do have to mention that you're very proud of is you just celebrated, I think, 50 years of your wedding anniversary. Is that right? That, that is correct. Um, February 10th of this year, which is this past Saturday, we were uh, well. We were married and celebrated our our 50th anniversary, and uh, uh, it's a wonderful thing. And I tell everybody that we're starting on our second 50, and uh, they'll go there. But it, it was wonderful. A lot of good people came by and said hi and so forth. So uh, it's a g great experience. Well, congratulations to you and your wife and your family on uh, on 50 years, and, and uh, we want to thank you guys for being a part of our community, being a part of our show, our athletics department, and just really the great support that you provide us here. And so we'll be right back with Inside Moorhead State Basketball. no better way to spend the day than with lunch or dinner at Reno's Roadhouse in Moorhead. Enjoy our delicious steak, chicken and ribs, along with trademark honey butter rolls, the best bucket of peanuts in town, and hometown hospitality. Hi, I'm Tim Kogenhofer and I promise to provide 100% guest satisfaction here in Reno's Roadhouse in Moorhead. Go wild! Go S! Go Reno's! Who knows where life will take you? I'm Sherry and I call Kentucky Bank Home. Where will you be in five years? Will you be in a new home, starting a family, or retiring? I'm Connie and I call Kentucky Bank Home. I look forward to helping you with your home loan. Kentucky Bank wants to help you be ready for life's biggest moments. My name's Gabe and I call Kentucky Bank Home. In life's biggest moments, your first call is home. We look forward to talking to you soon. Miss Wally's is proud to be Moorhead's oldest restaurant with more than 60 years in business. Enjoy our popular cheesy fries, pizza, and unique sandwiches, plus our newest feature, the Chow Now app for your mobile devices, allowing you to order and pay online for easy pickup. And next door is the Bakery on Main, where you'll find the tastiest treats in town. Stop by for breakfast or lunch. That's Pasquale's and Bakery on Main, 178 and 182 East Main Street in Moorhead. Time now for Eagle Profile. Sponsored by Stanford Builders Paving in West Liberty. Quality work at affordable prices. That's how we roll. Welcome back to Inside Moorhead State Basketball. I'm assistant men's basketball coach Jonathan Maddox here with our Eagle profile for today, Richard Fagan. Richard is a freshman point guard from Detroit, Michigan. 
um, that, that we were very lucky to get out of DME Academy in Florida. Richard, tell us a little bit about your transition, uh, you know, growing up in Detroit, going to high school in Detroit, transitioning to prep school last year at DME Academy, and then um, obviously ending up at Moorhead State. Tell us about a little bit about those transitions. Well, the transition was very big for me. It was my first time really being away from home, being away from my family. And then just being able to go down there and focus on basketball is kind of a struggle for me. But I knew I had to put in hard work just to get where I wanted to go. Tell us a little bit off the court, um, you know, some of your activities, interests. Uh, obviously, you're a finance major. Tell us a little bit about what you want to do with that and, and any extracurricular activities you enjoy doing here at Moorhead State. Well, with the finance major, I'm really looking into just probably starting my own business or trying to go into accounting like my mom, what she does. Some extracurricular activities, I mean, I usually just hang out with my teammates. We play the game a lot, and I like to play chess a little bit. Wow, chess player. I didn't know that. I didn't know that. You got to be pretty smart to play the game of chess, don't you? I mean, just a little bit. Good, good. Well, speaking of your mom, obviously she was very influential um, kind of in the recruiting process with us. We talked to her a lot. Great lady, professional woman. Uh, any special shout out or, or anything you want to tell her or thank her for while we're here? I just want to thank her for always supporting me and loving on me, you know, just caring about me. There you have it, ladies and gentlemen, Richard Fagan, the pride of Detroit, Michigan. We're, we're glad. We're really lucky he's here with us uh, in our program. Um, he, he's done a lot of good things this year and will continue to do a lot of good things for the next three years in our basketball program. Um, Coach and David will be back to wrap up the show. Hello, I'm Gary Markham with Tim Short Auto Group. I'd like to welcome you to our state-of-the-art facility on Kentucky 801, just off I-64. We have over 4,000 vehicles to choose from, offering new Chrysler, Dodge, Jeep, Ram, and Ford, all with a lifetime limit of powertrain warranty. For more than 20 years, Tim Short has been serving your friends and neighbors in the Kentucky area. We now invite you to take the short drive to satisfaction here in Moorhead, Kentucky. We are Tim Short Auto Group. Hi, I'm Brock Little, Vice President of Commercial Bank in West Liberty. For more than 100 years, we've prided ourselves in treating our customers like family. The technologies we offer afford you the ability to bank with us from anywhere. I'm Howard Elam, President of Commercial Bank. Thank you for trusting us with your banking needs. At Eagle Finance, our motto is simple. Loans made easy, payments made affordable. We specialize in personal loans from $1,000 to $3,000. Do you need a loan for auto repair, vacations, or other expenses? How about consolidating debt or paying off medical or dental bills? Eagle Finance is here to help. Stop by and see branch manager Bill McGee and his staff at Eagle Finance or visit us online at eagle.com. My name is Jack Rowe with Rowe Insurance Agency. We have been in the insurance business for over 50 years. We have a multitude of companies that can provide for you a comprehensive insurance plan at a reasonable price. We welcome your business and we will treat you like family here at the Rowe Insurance Agency. This segment of Inside Moorhead State Basketball is sponsored by Richard White Wood Products, a premier exporter of Kentucky hardwoods worldwide. Welcome back to Inside Moorhead State Basketball on this Sunday afternoon on the CW Lexington and Preston. You're one of the few teams in college basketball with no seniors on the roster. But on senior night, we're going to honor a very valuable senior on this basketball team. And that's none other than your student manager, the pride of Mount Sterling, Kentucky, Mr. Lee Royce. Yeah, I tell you, Lee's a guy that um, he was here when I arrived four years ago on, on Sean's staff, and he's really grown a lot. I mean, he's really uh, taken over a lot of responsibilities. He's in charge of a lot of our younger managers who are coming up, as he did a few years ago. And uh, I'm, I'm really proud of Lee because he's a lot of fun to be around. He keeps the mood very light. Uh, he, we joke around with him a lot. I 
I know Coach Burton, uh, that, that's kind of a soft spot in his heart as he loves his managers and he spends a lot of time with those guys, especially Lee. We actually have something we call manager rankings and we keep them on a board <laughs> in our office where we rank the managers weekly, kind of like the college football <laughs> rankings. And it's based on your performance as a manager that week and those guys take them pretty seriously. So if there's an opportunity to run and get the head coach's whistle or run and get a water or a stat sheet or anything like that, they fight for the opportunity to do it because they want their rankings to be up there. And uh, I tell you, Lee's, Lee's a guy I'm real proud of him. I really am. He's working hard in the classroom. He takes a lot of pride in his job. He loves our student athletes. And, you know, that's if you, when you're building the program, you need guys like Lee. You need guys who take pride in every single thing that they do from the head coach all the way down to your student managers because you can leave no stone unturned. Every detail needs to be, uh, needs, needs to be followed through to a T. And I'm very proud of Lee taking pride in his job and following that through for us. I think one of the, the greatest things about a manager is their relationship with the players. The players need to feel comfortable around them, they need to trust them, and, and the players love Lee. I mean, they love to joke with him, they, you know, they love to have fun with him, but they also trust him. They do, and you know, and we, we always talk about that at the beginning of the year, whether you have new players or what, but we, we respect everybody. We talk about our players doing that, and I always make sure to mention our managers, because sure. those guys, they don't, they don't receive much praise, you know, obviously the scholarship money's different than what a student athlete's going to receive. They, they really don't get a whole lot of stuff. You know, they might get some gear, they get the opportunity to travel, but they are extremely invested. They're invested with their time. They're their emotions, their hard work into our success, and they share in that as well. And so they need to be commended for that. And I'm, I'm very proud of Lee because he's done an unbelievable job for us. He's a joy to have around, and I know he's going to be successful at whatever endeavors he goes into life. Thank you for watching this week. And on behalf of the MSU basketball coach Preston Spradlin, I'm David Patrick. We will see you next Sunday right here on the CW Lexington for Inside Moorhead State Basketball. Inside Moorhead State Basketball has been brought to you by Fazoli's of Moorhead, fast, fresh Italian. U.S. Bank, all of us serving you. St. Clair Regional Healthcare, amazing medicine close to home. Larry Fannin, Chevrolet, Buick, and GMC, doing business with a handshake and a promise. Kentucky Bank, call it home. Eagle Finance, loans made easy, payments made affordable. Big Four Lumber Ace Hardware, the helpful place. The Citizens Bank, the home of totally free checking. Reno's Roadhouse, go wild, go west, go Reno's. Moorhead Tourism Commission, escape the normal. Eagle Trace Golf Course, the home course of the MSU Eagles. First National Bank, a tradition of value and convenience. Holbrook's Embroidery, your clearly Kentucky headquarters. Better Life Church, helping people follow Jesus. Commercial Bank of West Liberty, a source of strength in our community. Tim Short Auto Group, take the short drive to satisfaction. Jack Rowe Insurance, serving all your insurance needs. Pasquale's and Bakery on Main, treat yourself well. Richard White Wood Products, a premier exporter of Kentucky hardwoods worldwide. Standard for Builders Paving in West Liberty, quality work at affordable prices that's how we roll and by new frontier outfitters we are made for your journey